shocked out of my mind. What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. My name is Keaton Ditchfield and today we are on an epic adventure. Before we get into the adventure, a quick big thank you to my patrons for making videos like this possible. And if you're new here at the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. Okay, let's get to the adventure. This is the side of the road. That's a caravan. And why we're on the side of the road is because I just had a quick pit stop. I'm on my way to my first ever fishing competition. Yes, we're fishing for carp and we're joined by an epic YouTuber. You'll have to wait and see who that is. And then, yeah, first step, we're going to go to a local fishing shop because the local fishing shop is where you get the knowledge to, and the bait, the local bait, to catch the fish and make the difference and hopefully do well in this competition. I'm not taking this, hi Lux. I'm not taking this uh, competition too seriously, but I'd like to do well. Who wouldn't like to do well and catch a couple of fish? Let's get to the shop right now. So I'm here in Marble Hall, where I'm going to the one price store because I'm going to get a special something for the competition. Something that really makes a difference. Okay, so this is the reason or one of the many reasons why I came to Marble Hall and the Ron Price store. It's these buggers. These guys. The True Feed. It's a True Feed pellet. These pellets apparently are, are fed at Nile Dam. So if you're ever going to Nile Dam, make sure to come here to the One Price store and get your hands on these. They apparently make a hell of a big difference. Now, if you've watched any of the um, the other videos on YouTube and you click Nile Dam, the guys that catch bigger fish, that catch more regular stuff, use these pellets. So come here and buy these pellets. It's great. So then the second thing I'm looking for in particular is this. It's also the true feed stuff, but it is the enhancer. So what you do is you add this to your uh, millibomb mix or your, your particle feed or your, your regular pellets or these pellets and it boosts the, the mix incredibly. It's got all kinds of fish attractors and smart things um, in here. The person who developed this is a South African angler. So he wins competitions using these products that he made himself. So yeah, some of this, the enhancer, the TF Enhancer and the TF Pellets. I'm gonna get a couple of bags of these and then hopefully we're gonna be catching some big carp in this competition at the Nile Dam. With the extra special bait acquired, it is time to put them in the boot and get back on the road and get to the Nile or the Nail or whatever you wanna call it. Okay, nearly there. Um, I just need to stop off quickly for some petroleum. Yeah, a total. Yeah, everyone calls it total. Total is a French company. I think it's French. So total or total. We have to go to to the total to get the, the the diesel for my car. Got to get it. <laughs> Kitten, stop talking cack. tank now let's get there but cut full of driving now let's get to the Nile Dam and then set up camp and enjoy a wonderful competition now getting to the Nile is an interesting journey because you go through Mokopani which isn't the prettiest town in the world and then these roads start to reveal this incredibly beautiful place with malachite kingfishers, grey herons, black crakes, and just so much wildlife and beauty. It really is fantastic. This is Nile Dam. 
What a fantastic venue. Sorry if the wind is doing, being a bit crazy. But yeah, there's a lot of swims on this dam. Not gonna lie, I saw it, I think a 37. The swims are pretty tight, but what's quite nice is it's got electricity and it's got a built-in cradle, well a cradle that belongs in the swim. That's fantastic. So, I'm here at Nile Dam. Um, the, f the competition starts tomorrow morning at 9. Um, and it's specimen, it's pretty much a specimen competition. But papkhoi, like papkhoiing is allowed, but it's one hook rule. And you have to have a, a thick a thick line, you can't have little thin lines, you're not allowed braid. And um, basically, biggest fish wins. And second and third, they also get a prize, but it's the biggest fish. But for now, I'm going to set up camp. And set up camp just out of the wind. And yeah, I'm flipping excited. It's going to be great. Just pulled a nice cold beer out of my CF55 fridge freezer. Flex Adventures. It's times like this when it's boiling hot and it's all you want is a cold beer and this beer is sitting at like just above zero because it was right next to all of the stuff that is frozen oh man there are moments in life that you just go Ugh, I'm a spoiled brat. <laughs> and right now that's it. I've set up the camp. I've quickly whipped out the panels. I know I know that there's power at night at the Nile Dam now. Um I didn't do my research on that, so I brought my uh my second battery system. Doesn't make a difference. I just put out the panels and that's pretty much the only difference. And um I'm watching fish turn one after the next. There's a guy that drove past in a boat and fed like three 50 kilo bags out in the middle of the dam. So guess where I'm casting tomorrow? So I'm watching fish turn. I'm watching birds like black crakes and malachite kingfishers, um, pied kingfishers, all kinds of reed cormorants and just, ah oh man, this is just, this is lacquer. I know I'm not allowed to fish yet, but right now, to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> this is lacquer. I've got a good bait that I'm going to fish with tomorrow. I'm relatively confident. I've got a fisherman that I back joining me on this session. Very excited. Like, I'm watching three black wing stilts. I think they're called black wing stilts. Okay, forgive the crappy filming. Um, I want to film what is running around the bushes. It sounds like bloody warthogs that are running around the bushes. And there's one with its butt out. It's like one of those, if I don't move, he can't see me things. So I want to see if I can spot him. Headlamp on. No, his butt is just here now. Where are you fat ass? There he is. Can you see him? Did you see that? I'm sure I'll get some more content of him. So it's like a, what they call a neutra in America. It's similar to that. It's just like a guinea pig meets a, meets a beaver. So yeah, it's, they, they, they sound like Massive warthogs rummaging through the reeds. I'm not going to get much sleep because I just chill and all of a sudden <laughs> in the reeds. And it's just them picking a reed to chow. But yeah, man, I love it how everything's alive here. I just hope those things don't eat my cables because we all know how rats love cables.
morning here. Morning day. Like morning day. Morning on the first day of the competition. That car you just saw there is Justin driving on the wrong side of the dam. <laughs> He's, this place is quite hard to get into like for, for first timers. I also was like, where am I going? So Justin's just trying to find a way to go past the fence and the, the siren is gonna go off in the next couple of minutes and we're gonna start the comp. We've got some other anglers on that side getting ready, waiting to make a difference and hopefully catch the big, biggest fish of the day. Yeah, man. I'm excited, I'm excited. So just before we get into the competition, a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, the One Price Store in Marble Hall. The One Price Store has everything you need from fishing gear, cosmetics, household stuff, stationery and a whole lot more. In terms of fishing gear, everything you need is covered for fresh water, from bass, specimen, pubkhoi, the lot. Make sure to check out the One Price Store every time you're in Marble Hall. Let's get back to the video. Rods are ready, baits ready. Method feeders are ready. The only thing that's not ready is Justin. <laughs> who has gone to gate one, gate two, and the only gate you can get into is four. So um, Justin's, uh, Justin's lost, and hopefully... There goes the siren a minute early. And Justin's over there on the other side of the dam. <laughs> Let's start. Yeah, it's because you're showing off your vinchat. Yeah, it's a good job. We're on to a fish! I was going to show you a fish, but um, I said, you look after the fish, I'll put the rod back in. And he put it back. So I didn't blank. I haven't blanked. But this is Justin and Justin, what did you do Justin? That was not a fish to, to show a blank saver, unfortunately, <laughs> so it had to go back. If Kitsun wants to save the blank, he's going to have to do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we're going to show you this one before Justin releases it on his own accord. It doesn't feel huge, also method feeder. I'm not sure actually, you can see. Inside this package is a lovely fish, a beautiful miracarp. How exciting is that? Oh, I've beaten my blank with a fish before this, but chill, 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 chill. But Justin didn't manage to release this one which is quite exciting. So I can show it to you guys. Come on. There you go. How lovely is this fish? About three kilos, not even close to weighing, but very excited about this beautiful fish. How lovely is this? Back here, man. Let's put her back and then hopefully catch one that's bigger than eight kilos. On to another fish. The head knocks look good, but you never know. Hopefully it's a nine kilo. 
<laughs> Justin's holding his cards back. He's not, he's not gonna show us anything until three o'clock this morning. He's gonna catch the fish by himself while I'm dosing in the tent. And he's gonna say, Keith, look in the sack. Okay, and then it's gonna be like a 15 kilo fish. It's running all the way left. It's got slow head bobs. No, never mind. And she's in the net. He says we're not allowed to show fish that are not big enough. <laughs> just kidding, he didn't say that, but it's just fun to tease him. <laughs> I was thinking it though, so. <laughs> you were thinking it, but you said it. What's that from? Le uh, what not? Legally blonde? Uh, blonde girls. White chicks. White chicks, that's White it. Chicks. Okay, boy. Bye, fishy. Bye bye. There we go. I didn't put on my alarm. So. We are live here on the bank with Keaton, hairstyle Ditchfield. I did it just for you guys. Hope you like it. Justin, my current cameraman, is there doing a great job. I did talk to the camera for about 30 seconds without my mic being on. He saved the day. And I hooked on to what feels like the smallest fish in the dam. And yes, it is. I'm good at that. Look at this tiny little thing. Shame. And I'm actually just going to unhook it in the water. That's less stress for the fish. Okay, here we go. Come on. <laughs> Hook out and done. So night fell and we got some grub up. And I was just holding thumbs that Justin might be able to meet the little critters that are running around in the bushes. The night passed quietly with one or two small fish, but other than that, not much excitement other than this. Okay, tell, tell us what happened. I'm shocked out of my mind. That's, <laughs> that's not a rat. <laughs> sure. What, what is it? What was it? I think it's a similar version of a Nutra. No shit, something, <laughs> something's up at denial. They're doing something to, to the animals, yeah. So I want, okay, this, I wanted to get the, the, the reaction. Oh, my hair is posh again, man. Fucking hell. Okay, so I wanted to get the natural reaction of this gentleman when he saw the rats at Nile Dam. Now, what I said to him, how did I describe it? <laughs> tell, tell them how to describe it, because it, it seems pretty far-fetched. It did. You described it. It was something like like cats. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, yeah, I, I said it, uh, guinea between a guinea oh, yeah, pig. Oh yeah, yeah, between a guinea pig and what was it? And a thing? beaver. That's how big they are. Okay. No, these things are, are huge. They. It's not normal. No. It's not normal. And then when if you ever have heard a cat jump into dry grass, like the sound of the the. Yeah, that. Did, if, you did you that <laughs> if you heard that, if you heard that, and that wasn't a bad one. And it sounds like that, and you're like, what? Is there a warthog in the bushes? Is there, I don't know, it's something big. It's something bigger than that. Yeah, You definitely. feel like it's bigger than that. Definitely. And then it walked across here. It just walked across the front here, like it didn't give a shit Not that we were here. Yeah. And then I was like, look, I told you. <laughs> I really want to get one on, <laughs> on camera for you guys. Sure.
I am finally onto a fish. And surprisingly, this is on a zig. Saw some fish showing on the top this morning. Decided to give it a go. And a good couple of hours later, we fish on. I'm super excited, first fish. I don't see it, okay. It's giving us a bit of a fight. Just need to try and land it. That's the most important thing now. And then the blank streak will finally be over. At this point, I don't care what size it is. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's... Ah, uh, and he came off, he came off. You lie. He came off. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, at least we know the zigs are working. I'm about to change this one. I was one. about to change, yeah. Because I thought we gave it a go, nothing doing there. Let's just have a look here. Shit, man. That's frustrating. So close. But it worked. Yeah, that's a good sign. There's our little mirror, second mirror for the trip. Little feisty guy. Shame he got a, a hurt lip, so we had to put some medicine on it. Always try to look after your fish if you see an injury. And let them stay in the cradle so you don't drop them on the floor. So I'm gonna put this little guy back after I treat one or two more of these scales that he's lost. And yeah, hopefully we, we leave the children's corner because Kitty's corner ain't gonna win us the competition. So, Justin Jackson from Justin Jackson Carp Adventures. How's everything gone? What, what, is we, what have we done so far? <laughs> <laughs> well, it start with me. What have I done so far? I've caught absolutely bug all. Yes, you uh, worked hard though. <laughs> I've got to catch nothing. Um, look, I guess this two days it's day two. I haven't caught a single fish. I've lost one earlier today. Um, on the upside it was on a zig, so that was, that was, I was quite chuffed with that. But uh, yeah, it's been absolutely quiet on my part. Look, I must be honest, the other thing is that I've been, you know, I'm tackling, I'm really trying to catch a big one. Yeah. So I'm, I've been fishing quite uh, big baits. I've been fishing quite far out. And you know, maybe that's a tactic that's not for this venue, especially where, where the fish have been coming out, but yeah. That's how my day's been going. Shame, I haven't seen a gent work as hard as this perk. He's tried, it must have been six different tactics. Yeah. Because he tried zigs, he's tried like a pellet on a, on a hair, like quite a big pellet. He's tried boilies, he's tried long distance, he tried here, we tried the method feeder for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I, like my, my tactic from the beginning was yeah. start on the method feeder, get one or two fish because of my blanking streak, which has been so long. And I wanted to get, like, remember what a fish feels like, you know? Yeah. So, I've been nursing this this uh, little corner of mine. Like, <laughs> I've been I've been trickling bait over the whole day, working it. I've been really working this one little section. I just want the big bruises, the big carp, to come in at three o'clock in the morning and wake us all up because that's they they tend to come into the shallows at night when everything's calm. They know a lot of anglers dump their bait yeah. and it's usually the safe bit because all of the guys if you look down this bank a lot of the guys are chucking it as far as they can yeah, that's exactly it and yeah so it worked for some but not others tell you what you mentioned that you you know you were blanking so you got to redeem yourself i have a slight <laughs> feeling that kittens passed that blanking stick on to me so <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have seen good luck chuck <laughs> i was good luck chuck now it's him <laughs> uh, not on purpose. Yeah. Hope, hope not. Hope not. No, I didn't do that on purpose. I wanted to bring him because he's like a like a fisherman. <laughs> so yeah, this is the last evening. Fingers crossed. Really hoping to catch one. And the night fell, and I really hoped my strategy would work out. Early in the evening, my rod did go off, and I was fighting a fish that I thought could put us on the leaderboard. And it got closer and closer, but eventually, the hook pulled. I was devastated. And in the morning, some last ditch efforts were made. Some people just gave up and packed up and went home. Others didn't give up until the last second. The final leaderboard was in third place, Tommy, 9.36 kilos. Second place, Quinton with 9.86 kilos. And in first place, Ashton with a 10.060 fish. Well done to those guys. Thank you for the competition. So that is the session. We did not get a fish that weighed. We got a couple of four kilos. Um, 
lots and lots of red carp, red carp, like just lots and lots of small ones. But we had a great time and yeah, it's been a <laughs> it's been a fantastic session for me. I was the cameraman. Yes, I helped land great. quite quite a few of the fish. So I, I think I've played my part. <laughs> he did great. Justin did amazing. Amazing work. I, that's all I wanted him to do is just film, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I've had a wonderful time. This Oaks a legend. Make sure to check out his channel, Justin Jackson Carp Adventures. It's really been great. But an even bigger thank you to Johan at the yep. One Price Store for making all of this happen. He's a patron. He's an awesome, awesome guy, and he's also uh, the sponsor of this video. So, Johan, you're a legend. Thank you so much, all of you guys at Marble Hall. Go check out that shop. Make sure to support a local business yeah. a local legend and an awesome oak so that is it for this episode of it's tipped up fishing i think i'm going to hand it get hand it over to this guy to do the honors okay so since i can't catch fish let's see if we can get this right <laughs> until next time guys tight lines